Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Ruby reaction. We got Volume 2, Chapter 9, Search and Destroy. Team Ruby's going on their mission, the Search and Destroy mission, which they... Ospin let them go. He overrided the, the system that wouldn't allow first-year students to go. And yeah, kind of suspicious why Ospin would let Team Ruby go. I'm pretty sure he has a lot of faith in them, which is one of the reasons why he feels confident in letting them go. But we also got this other professor, the green-haired dude, which I don't remember where he's from exactly. Um, I'm pretty sure we've seen him somewhere. I can't remember where. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to find out what his powers are as well, how strong he is. Because he's a hunter. He doesn't seem like it. Just based on the way he acts. But yeah, let's go straight into it. Volume 2, Chapter 9. Let's go. I can't wait for the Volume 2 soundtrack reaction for this song. Black. Yes, I'm afraid those bags won't be necessary, girls. Seeing as you've opted to shadow a huntsman on what is now essentially a reconnaissance mission, I can assure you we will not be establishing a single base of operations. <laughs> now we, we gotta take a dog, bro. Miles of hazardous wasteland and making camp in any defendable locations we may stumble upon. I packed all of our essentials myself, put on the air course, and ready the airship. And it's Dr. Ublick. Dr. Ublick. I didn't earn the PhD for fun. Thank you very much. I. Uh... Come now, children. According to my schedule, we are already three minutes behind. Schedule. Well, all right then. Looks like we're going to save the world with Dr. Oobleck. Okay, yeah, when you say it out loud, it sounds worse. <laughs> save the world? You're going on world-saving missions without us? I'm hard sad. Maybe oh, shit, I forgot about Team Juniper yeah, also. Nora. <laughs> Nora. Sounds exciting. Where are you going? Oh, just outside the kingdom. Hey, so are we. Ren and Nora wanted to shadow the sheriff of a nearby village. We set out tomorrow. Then you can party with us tonight. We're shadowing a crime specialist. All inner city detective stuff. We get junior badges. Oh. <laughs> junior your badges, you bro. We're official. This stuff's always exploding in junk. So we thought this might be a better way to check out the kingdom when it's, you know, normal. Well, four minutes, ladies. Four minutes behind schedule. <laughs> They're all embarrassed well, for them. Uh, wish us luck. I fancy myself more of an intellectual, but I can assure you, as a huntsman, I've had my fair share of tussles. Like the mushroom? Those are truffles. Like the sprout? Those are Brussels. Besides, given my <laughs> expertise in the field of history, as well as my dabblings in the archaeological surveys, our dear headmaster saw it fit to assign me to this particular assignment. What does history have to do with this? Why, what a preposterous question. History has to do with everything. It's the backbone of our very society, and the liver. And probably the kidneys, if I were to wager. And that means the southeast quadrant outside of Vale is home to wild forests and deep caves. But it is also the location to one of the kingdom's greatest failures. Mountain Glen. That's right. It was an expansion of Vale. But in the end, it was overrun by Grimm and fenced off from the rest of the city. Correct. And now it stands abandoned. It's a dark reminder. And a likely place for a hideout. Precisely. Hope they're gonna get along. Just. <laughs> he just drinks his drink. Man, this is a banded place. They weren't lying. Ladies, you still may be students, but as of this moment, your first mission as Huntress has begun. 
From this point forward, you need to do exactly as I say. Do you understand? Ruby! I thought I told you to leave all your bags back at school. But, uh, you hadn't told us to listen to you yet. So I didn't. She's not wrong. <laughs> She's not wrong, bro. But I, well, hey. Young lady, what in the world could you possibly have in that bag that could be so important to bring a witness? <laughs> bag, bag. We're here to investigate an abandoned and you brought a dog. And hostility, and you He's gonna fall in love with it. A dog. I, uh... Genius. I knew it. Use the dog for search and destroy. Damn, look at his fangs. God damn. I'm a genius. So, what are your orders, Doctor? Ah, yes. Straight to the chase. I like Damn, that's a... As you've been oh, the southeast area has oh why you drop him? For grim activity. Now, there are several possible explanations for this behavior, one of which being grim. Uh, what? Grim. A creature of Grim, approximately 100 yards from us at this very moment. What? Holy shit, already? Stop. Huh? There are a number of reasons why Grim would congregate in this particular area. The most likely of which would be their attraction to negativity. Sadness. Envy. Loneliness. Hatred. All qualities that All are of them? held by our hidden group hovering ill intent. So... The, all the songs are about that. We wait. We track. If this specimen leads us to its pack, that pack may subsequently lead us to our prey. How long do we wait? As long as we have to. Hours, days, weeks, months. Why Lone Grin have been known to stay isolated from the pack for months, and there's the whole pack. What? And now they've seen us. What? And now they've seen us. I take it tracking is out of the question. An accurate assumption? Yes. What's the plan then? We fight. <laughs> Show me what you're capable of. Cover your ears, Sly. Cover your ears and cover your eyes, Sly. Boom! Oh, now we're getting a little movie. Okay. Ooh. All right, let's see what you got, Blake. God damn. All right, why snee? Oh my, Nate's running around in circles. Man, that's just brutal. Piece of cake. Do not celebrate yet. For I am certain this is the first bout of many. Shall we continue? Nope. Battle poses. Oh no, there's just more. Excellent work, girls! Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any signs of criminal operations in this hmm. Why is there oh, dust well, coming off of them? On. Hey, Doc, you know, I was actually looking forward to seeing a pro huntsman in action. Like, fighting or at least helping us fight? Ah, oh, but I am in action, scouring the ruins of this one great city for any signs of irregularity. Not every mission is filled with daring and heroism, girls. Sometimes it's just a heightened form of extermination. Remember, this is a job. We want to see you in action, bro. I do hope you understand that. Well, yeah. Uh, of course. Hmm. Man, there's so many. Tell me, Yang. Why did you choose this line of work? Huh? Well, to fight monsters and save... Oh, that is what you do. I want to know why you do it. The honest reason as to why you want to be a huntress. The honest reason? To find I'm her mom. Seeker. I want to travel around the world and get wrapped up in as many crazy adventures as I can. And if I help people along the way, then that's even better. It's a win-win, you know? I see. <laughs> and you, Miss Nee, a girl born into fame and fortune such as yourself certainly doesn't need the extra work. So, why choose this over a cushy job in Atlas? 
It's exactly as you said. I'm a Schneed. I have a legacy of honor to uphold. Once I realized I was capable of fighting, there was no longer a question of what I would do with my life. It was my duty. Interesting. Cool, I like it, man. She's asking everybody why they're doing it. Oh, snap. That crow creature and what about you, turns into a huge you one. Carry yourself with a sense of purpose? There's too much wrong in this world to just stand by and do nothing. Inequality, corruption, someone has to stop it. Very well. How? I... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, are we ready to keep going? No, I believe that will have to do for today. It's going to be dark soon. You three, set up camp in that building. Oh, and please do make sure that there are no more of those creatures. Your leader and I are going to secure the perimeter. Come, Ruby. Oh, they're gonna have a deep talk. Ah, look at her, she's concerned. What is that? It looks awesome. That, my dear girl, is a grin. So I just had to kill it. Kill a fucking bug right there. I'm afraid your sniper rifle will do nothing more than agitate a grim of that size. But what if it attacks? Holy us? shit, that's like a woolly mammoth. Ruby, those Goliaths are not concerned with us. Ruby, not every grim is mindless. Or rather, not every grim is still mindless. You see, the grim you see before you are so powerful, so superior to the grim you fought, that they've undoubtedly lived hundreds of years. And in that time between killing humans, can you and turn a creature of grim? On one important thing. They've learned not to be evil no more. Learn that when they attack our borders, they're likely to die. And what we lack in strength, we make up for it will. And that killing one human will only bring more. Then why are they still so close to the city? What are they doing? Protecting it? Wait. Right, some shit's gonna happen, man. Dr. Ublek? Mm hmm? I was wondering. Wondering why I've been interrogating your teammates all day? A actually, I was wondering. Why didn't you ask her? Why did you want to become a huntsman? Oh. Look around and tell me what you see. Lots of old buildings, uh, empty streets. I see lives that could have been saved. As a huntsman, it is my job to protect the people. And although I am capable of doing it with traditional weaponry, that's a really I good I can make a much larger impact if I do it with my mind. As a teacher, I'm able to take knowledge, the most powerful weapon of them all, and place it into the hands of every student that passes through my classroom. I look at this wasteland and I see lives that could have been saved. But I also see an opportunity. An opportunity to study these ruins and learn from this tragedy. Learn from past mistakes. Stronger. Yeah. I am a huntsman, Ruby. Because there is nothing else in this world I would rather be. Yo, I love this dude, Professor Ublink. I love you, dude. We've always been fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time. I guess we can't always have luck on our side. <sighs> They're gonna find something. Huh? Earlier. About upholding the legacy. There's more to it than that. Yeah. No, me too. I mean, I don't know. I don't know either. I know what I want to do, but I figured I'd always take things one step at a time. Well, it doesn't matter. We know why we're here. Right? Ah, oh, wonderful! A textbook campfire! Fire! So warm. Very good. Eat your dinners and hurry to bed. We have a lot of ground to cover tomorrow, and we'll need you to take turns keeping watch over our temporary abode. Any volunteers for first watch? Yo. <laughs> hey, did Ublik ask you why you wanted to be a huntress? I mean, what did you tell him? Hmm. No, he didn't. 
weird. Oh well, good night, guys. See, it is weird. Hmm. See, now they're all questioning why they're why they're there. Interesting tactic, Ospin. Don't worry. Things will be better tomorrow. Things will be better tomorrow. All right. Well, God damn, that was a deep episode, man. Well, fuck in hell. Such an amazing episode, dude. Honestly, Dr. Ublik, he's a cool-ass dude, man. Cool-ass dude. You know, because one moment he's a little, a little crazy talking super fast, like if he's on caffeine, if he's, you know, on something, something. And the next, next second, he's just this wise professor that just knows why he's doing it. But the most interesting thing of this whole episode is that he goes and asks Blake, Weichny, and Yang why, they're, why they want to be Huntresses. What's the exact reason why? And they each give them their own answers, you know. Give them the general answer they themselves have programmed into their head of why they're being Huntresses. But the thing that he's trying to get out of them, what it seems like is that he's trying to get the real reason why. They want to be huntresses. Not just the general thing of, oh, I want to help people. I want to save the world from evil. I want to fight this battle against evil. There has to be something else behind that. Like he said, he had a genuine, deep, thought-out answer to that. It was super cool to hear, man. Like, Professor Ublek, he's... I, obviously, he loves history. He loves archaeology, from what it seems like. He loves studying things and like he said this place where they're at right now is just a reminder of what could have been avoided I think they said 80 years ago during the battle so what could have been avoided 80 years ago you know like so he loves doing this thing this stuff about being a teacher being a professor and teaching future students future huntresses and huntsmen of what they could do better to avoid the situation that they were in 80 years ago and yeah man and interesting thing is that he didn't ask ruby rose at all you know he didn't ask her why are you a huntress why do you want to do this line of duty what like what's the what's your purpose in this so you know it's interesting to wager that thought in your head as well because you know i don't know if the other Two cared about it, Washington and Blake. But Yang definitely cared about it. It was kind of weird to her that, um, it was kind of weird to her that um, Professor Ublik didn't ask Ruby Rose at all. Which is which is weird, you know. Like, why didn't he ask her? You know, now just going back to the um, Ruby Volume One soundtrack. If you haven't watched it, make sure to go check it out, man. Because I, I go deep into that stuff, read into the lyrics, and try to theorize, try to make sense of what's being told. But we found out that Summer Rose sacrificed herself for something. And maybe all these teachers already, all these professors at Beacon know that Ruby has to sacrifice herself for something. I don't know, maybe Ruby does have an, a higher purpose. She's, you know, if we want to bring Star Wars into this, she's the chosen one or something. I don't know. It's, it is interesting why he didn't ask anything of Ruby Rose. Anything. Apart from trying to teach her about the creatures of Grimm. And trying to teach her that they're not all just... They're not all um, hungry for blood, if that makes sense. They're more than that. And, you know, that also put the idea into my head that, you know... Is it possible maybe to turn a creature a grim? Like from them being 
more towards the side of evil? Is there any way to turn them into being good? Because, I mean, look, there's going to be a future battle. That's inevitable. That's what they're trying to build towards right now. And that's what they're slowly trying to build towards it. I don't even think we're going to get it in Volume 2. Maybe. I think it's going to be in Volume 3 where we're going to get the huge battle where shit is going to go down. And yeah, man. Super cool episode. Search and Destroy. They're finally on their mission with Professor Ublick, Team Ruby. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little spiel I just had right now. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like and share the video because it helps the channel. helps the video most of all. Um, show up in other people's feed. So hey, help me out, man. Help me out. And share the video if you're part of any Discord servers on Reddit. And stuff like that where the Ruby Phantom hangs out with talks Ruby. Because I know the Volume 6 is starting 27th, I think. 27th of October next month. Or sometime in October it's starting. So yeah, share it with them. I know there's a lot of Ruby fans out here on YouTube looking for reactions. Share my videos, please. And yeah, see you guys in the next one, man. It's getting super interesting now. I already fell in love with the show, but now it's just getting so many more layers into our characters, right? It's not They're not just badasses. There's more to them that we still have to find out. So yeah, man. I'll see you guys in the next one.